item 11, conferment of honorary degree on Pastor Mrs. Shadi Ulukoya. Chancellor, sir, the Council and Senate of Mountain Top University have resolved that the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters, did it honoris causa of the university, be conferred on Pastor Mrs. Shade Ulukoya, the wife of Pastor Dr. Daniel Kolawali Ulukoya, founder and general overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministries worldwide. I therefore invite the university auditor to present the citation of Pastor Mrs. Shadi Ulukoya for the honorary degree, university auditor. The Chancellor, sir, may I respectively ask Pastor Mrs. Falashade Elizabeth Olukoya to stand up for her citation to be read. Chancellor, sir, I most humbly present to you for the confirmate of degree of Doctor of Letters, Honoris Causa, of the Mountaintop University, Prayer City, Ogun State, Nigeria, upon our most revered pastor, Folashade Elizabeth Olukoya. A woman with many caps and sterling qualities, who is the amiable wife of Pastor Dr. Daniel Kolawali Olukoya, the General Overseer of Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministries, worldwide. Pastor Folashade Elizabeth Olukoya was born into the family of Par and Ma George Folusho Adesanya as the fifth of seven children who were all brought up in the Christian way at the Christ Apostolic Church. Her father George, a disciplinarian who worked with the Nigerian Ports Authority as a marine engineer, ensured a good educational start in life for all his children, of whom Pastor Folashade has been a beneficiary. Pastor Folashade had her primary school education at Sulubere Baptist School, Lagos Mainland, and her secondary school education at Reagan Memorial Baptist Girls Secondary School, Western Avenue, and at J Comprehensive High School, Sabo in Yaba, Lagos. She proceeded to study for a diploma in fine arts, fashion and textile design, and interior decoration at the VCA Home Learning in United Kingdom. She obtained a Bachelor of Arts degree at the University of East London. In her pursuit of excellent achievement, she completed a master's degree in fine arts research at the Royal College London. She is currently engaged in her PhD program at the Royal College of Arts, UK. As a child, she developed an uncommon interest in creativity and preservation of the natural habitats which kept her wondering about God and his works of creation. Encouraged by her parents, Mrs. Fola Shade Olukoya discovered and realized her artistic gift in imaginative composition, which she cites as a gift from God as it continues to help her art career grow in leaps and bounds. Mrs. Olukoya serves as a non-stipendiary clergy and resident artist at the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, Nigeria. Anyone who has read the over 500 books authored by the General Overseer of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, Dr. Daniel Olukoya, can attest to 
not only the depth of spiritual wisdom rooted in those books, but also the artistic illustrations that grace their covers. The imaginative designs of the book covers often come with exceptional glees and precision that can trigger the inquisitiveness of any avid reader. The brain behind these numerous striking illustrations have been no one but Fola Shade Olukoya. With her enduring dominion, intelligence, spiritual proclivity, her tireless advocacy for the general wellness and re-empowerment of disenfranchised women around the world, Fola Shade has been discharging her duties alongside her husband's leadership roles. She has been a resourceful helper, helping him to dress and to keep the vineyard. This has expanded the growth of the church tremendously. For the past 30 years, 32 years actually, but despite her ministerial role in the church, she's often described as a woman of many hearts. Perhaps because she has been impeccably combining her ecclesiastical responsibilities with writing and visual artistry in the field of art studies. Her engagement with multidisciplinary research, her acts through her works of art and empowerment programs that she exhibits home and abroad, continue to contribute to humanitarian relief and betterment of life for women's re-empowerment. Recently, she engaged in a collaborative art and science project organized by the Royal College of Arts London for the Great Exhibition Road Festival, where her insightful body of works on women and trauma quickly became the focal point for academics and practitioners from various fields of expertise. Her research projects in contribution to arts and humanities and her teachings within the Christian communities continue to inspire women in the religious and academic sectors. Based on over 25 years experience as a trained Christian counselor, Mrs. Fola Shade Olukoya has her major focus on creating reliefs for traumatized women. Her research thinking, aims, and continuous contribution towards the general wellness of women tend towards her simple argument, and I quote, my specific deployment of the term re-empowerment in preference to the more commonly used empowerment is designed to highlight the ways that many women have been dispossessed of power over time through a social and historical process, end of quote. She will be the first to specify that re-empowering women to fully actualize their potentials is key to nation building. In her innovative competence, Fola Shade's unmatched contributions towards the development of women, both in MFM and beyond, is phenomenal. With a career in fashion, arts, pastoral care, and women empowerment, she has been using her God-given talents and abilities to provide solutions that have been addressing most pressing needs of women across the globe. Her deep desire to put smiles on the faces of women, especially the helpless ones globally, also compelled her to establish the MFM Women's Foundation. Through this, she has been offering support to uneducated, vulnerable, and homeless women, helping them to provide for their families. With the MFM Women's Foundation, she has been able to help many women realize their potentials through mentoring and training, as she believes this will help add value to the women folk as mothers in the society. While Mrs. Olukoya helps women to grow and glow in one part, she also sings 
in another part. In fact, she's a lover of music and can sing a variety of styles, including contemporary, gospel, and classical music. With her numerous gifts, passions, and platforms, impacting and repositioning lives for excellence across the globe, she has been quietly making impact and touching lives. Chancellor Sir, Pastor Fala Shade Elizabeth Olukoya, popularly called Mommy G.O., has instituted an annual cash prize of a sum of 500,000 naira to the overall best, best first class graduate in Mountaintop University. And she also has another sum of 250,000 naira to all other first class graduates in the university. At the first convocation ceremony of the university in December 2019, a total of 22 graduates benefited from the awards. And today, a total of 45 graduates will benefit from this award. Pastor Fola Shade Elizabeth Olukoya is a prolific writer. She has written many books. Notable among them are Violence Against Negative Voice, When Your Destiny is Under Attack, Woman of Wonder, The Call to God, and Principles of a Successful Marriage. Pastor Fola Shade Elizabeth Olukoya is a virtuous and a great woman. She has been a blessing to many lives, a pillar of support to her husband, as is obvious by his statements now and again. They are blessed with a lovely son, Elijah Toluani. <laughs> Chancellor Sir, it is this compassionate, well-respected individual who offers matriarchal approach to others ensuring inclusiveness across diverse range of cultures, ages, backgrounds, an exceptional philanthropist, exemplary and upright model of a Christian, model of love, model of dedicated service to humanity, that I ask you, in the name of the Council and Senate of Mountain Top University, Prayer City, Marco Gioba, to receive an honor as a member of the university, holding the degree of Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa.
by the authority vested in me as the chancellor and in accordance with the provisions of the university status I confer on you the degree of doctor of letters honoris causa of Banting Top University Makogioba Ogun State with the right and privilege attached thereto. God bless you. I would like to invite uh, Mrs. Fashola to please join in the photo section. Thank you, ma'am. To request the assist the AGOs to please join the AGOs. Can they join for the photo sessions? The SROs to please join the SROs. The SROs, please.
foundation after this the women foundation foundation principal officers and deans Thank you. The photo session will continue later. Thank you. The photo session will continue later. section will continue later. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm very grateful to God for a day like this. And this is my acceptance speech. The chair of the Board of Governors, the Vice Chancellor, the graduates, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my amiable husband, the General Overseer of the Mountain of America's Ministries worldwide, Dr. Daniel Kalawali Ulukoya, the pastorate, and the entire members of the Mountain of America's Ministries, I'm most privileged to receive this honorary doctorate award.
from the Mountaintop University. An institution, the Mountain of America's uh, Ministries, um, is an umbrella under which um, this great vision was conceived. Today, we can say the Mountaintop University is an institution that started barely six years ago and has now grown in leaps and bounds and continued to flourish. It never ceases to amaze me, having learned about the huge part this university play in boosting the egos of the students, giving them the necessary help they need to actualize their potentials and to showcase their talents beyond the confines of the university. Not many people have this privilege and not all institutions have the capacity to facilitate these life-changing offers. I'm honestly delighted to have been part of this great commission from its inception. It's great honor to see that the inner impulse of my humble contribution is so clearly perceived and appreciated. Thank you. For this, I would like to express my sincere gratitude, especially to the Board of Governing Council of the Mountaintop University and the university management. I'm aware that the honor that has been conferred on me today comes with a corresponding commitment to share my knowledge and skills. God helping me, my contribution to the advancement of the cause of humanity and continual support towards the desired expectations of this great institution is a signed deal. Life is not all beds of roses, likewise. The road to success isn't smooth all the way, not without challenges. I was born and raised in a Christian family as the fifth of seven children. As a child, my parents taught me to pray, to do my best, and to trust God for the rest. And the rest would actually be what I couldn't do. So I was taught to leave that to God. I faced several challenges on my way up. Each challenge in the quest for my destiny fulfillment all turned out to be f the fuel for my acceleration to unimaginable heights. The book of Luke chapter 1 verse 37 says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. I want to imagine Nelson Mandela referring to this scripture when he said in his statement, Everyone can rise above their circumstances and achieve success if they are dedicated and passionate about what they do. There is a slogan that is commonly used by many people to console themselves when they haven't achieved all their set goals. They simply say, do your best and leave the rest. Leave the rest for who? My father used to call me back to the rest. The rest left undone. And most of the time, looking at that, they actually add up to make a tangible whole. That is why we have a room for receipt, repeat, and correction. It's just to make things better. My father was my strongest critic and, at the same time, my greatest encourager. He handled destiny matters with strong hand and won't let go. He won't let go till the mission is accomplished. So when I got married, I thought I was free from my father. I thought I was free from all those restrictions. I thought I got my independence and now I can do what I like. Then I got married to um, a man. Uh, 
who would say to me at every point, 99.9% is not enough. You can do better. And by the grace of God, that has brought me this far and taken me beyond. I want to thank God for my husband. He's a great influence every step of the way. And he has been um, a great encourager to me also. I remember a day I was going to enroll for my master's research. And then he went all the way with me. He waited till the enrollment was completed. And here we were. We were going to get um, um, our um, student number, ID, and everything. And one of my supervisors bent down towards him and said, are you one of our students? I said, point of correction. He got his PhD over 30 years ago. <laughs> and my supervisor said, wow. <laughs> I said, he's my husband. He, he came <laughs> to stand in the gap to ensure that everything um, you know, was okay for me. So he waited all through the registration. As if I was a child who would run away, he waited. And then we got to the gate, a gate man stopped him and said, Man of God, congratulations, you brought your daughter to this school. Well done. <laughs> and he said, No, my wife. <laughs> so I want to thank God for him. For anyone who rubs his shoulder around this man must catch what we call the anointing for excellence. <laughs> Hallelujah. So on this notion, I proudly but humbly stand before you to accept this honorary doctorate um, award which you have so kindly bestowed upon me. To the glory of God, I share this day with numerous other graduates from two academic um, sessions, 2020-2021, um, who have worked hard for a day like this and are here today. I congratulate you on your splendid achievements. You simply understood the assignment and you did it justice. Well done. I encourage you to continue in the spirit of excellence as you have been empowered to excel. You are a flying eagle. Never go down. I remember when a taxi driver had to help me move my artworks to the studio, and he told me, he said, Elizabeth, why you worry yourself? You go call it day. I said, call it day? He was telling me, why do you still work now? Relax and go on holiday. So he told me, you go call it day. Okay. And then another day, I saw him. He was looking so sad. I said, Raj, what is the problem? He said, I sad. You sad? So what's the problem? He said, I sad. My son goes to school. They ask him, what would you like to become? My son said, taxi driver. I said, <laughs> and they asked him, why? He said, my son told them, because I bring money every day. Taxi driving, good. I said, well, because he sees money every day. And he said, my friend's dad brings, home, uh, brings money home end of the month, meaning wages. So that child could not wait for a month's pay, once per day. So he chose to be a taxi driver. So my taxi driver said, I sad. I said, why are you sad? I want him to become a medical doctor, now taxi. Do not settle for anything less than success. Move with successful people and you'll be fine. Stay up there. Don't give up. Keep on moving. Like my father used to tell me, anyway, anyhow, pack yourself today together, keep on moving. Keep on moving. You'll get there. And so I, I encourage you all to continue in the spirit of excellence as you have been empowered to excel. Your destiny lies in your hand. Aim for the sky with the knowledge you have acquired from this university. Be guided by the wisdom of God in all you do. When you leave this place, remember you have been empowered to excel. 
The only limit to your success will be yourself. I pray you won't limit yourselves in Jesus' name. My best wishes to you all. Once again, I sincerely thank you all. Thank you.